Hello, this is Seamus and 7 myww This is part two of the unbagging, you might say, of one of my finds at the 2022 CPAC Ham Convention. Now, uh, in the very first, in the very first uh, uh, video, if you'll remember, I was able to uh, was able to get a few things that looked cool. Um, there's a, a few handhelds in there and some battery packs and some antennas. But the big one. This is this is the big one. There were both of these bags were bought for one price. He told me make him an offer, and I made him an offer. I, I knew that uh, by looking in the other bag, there might be some handhelds, and there were. And go back to the previous video, and you can you can see what uh, what I purchased. This one though looks a little bit more entertaining. So we're going to open this up. I've only seen just through a little bit of the bag to see what's there, but that's all I know. I don't know if there's anything in the boxes. I don't know what is in this bag. So, let's, un let's unbag this and see what's in here. Definitely put some tape on here. But... <coughs> this will be Now, this first one. Looks like the box came open a little bit in there. What do we have here? Ah, uh, it looks like a an Oshan. That's how you pronounce it. Looks like an Oshan KG UV 6X. Dual band to a radio. And the radio's in there. Well, that's always a good thing. Looks like we have the manual. USB cable. Well, everything's in there. It's like the charger, adapter for the wall, the radio's in there, battery pack, um, the antenna's in there, everything's in there. So, that's not bad. I think uh, pretty much already made back part of my money. Let's, uh, let's see what else is in there. That card. Icom Micro 28. What is in here? Um, looks like some of the accessories. Looks like it's the adapter. It's the wall adapter. So, got the wall adapter, or the wall wart, and the earplugs. Boy, you can tell how old that is. For the Micro 2 AT. I, I can't remember what year the Micro 2 came out. I'm estimating 87, 88, something like that. So, that's cool. Uh, looks like. Oh, looks like an extra battery for the uh, for the Oshan radio there. So that's that's kind of good. Uh, an Icom CM35 battery charger. I don't know. Oh, uh, that looks like that could be. I'm I'm not going to say I'm absolutely correct, but that could possibly be for the uh, my or for the. Um, 02, 03, 04 series? I, I could be wrong. CM Charlie Mexico 35, AC battery charger. So I'll have to do some more research on that and find out. Uh, actually, there's a, there's a manual here. I'll have to look to see what that goes for. But that looks like that's in absolutely immaculate shape. It doesn't look like it's been used. So there's that. Oh, we have another battery charger. That I can see already. Let's see what's this here. That is a Yesu NC29 drop-in charger. Um, looks like this it says Lucas Communications from Houston, Texas. So a little older. Don't know what that goes to either. I guess I'm going to find out real soon when they start investigating and playing with some of this online. Uh, looks like we have a Kenwood SMC30 speaker mic. Oh yeah, oh my, I remember that old style. That's nice. Uh, I actually kind of like that old style. It's got some click in it, that's good. So SMC30. We do have uh, some Kenwood radios, so we'll see if that works. Uh, looks like, well, it looks like some of the information for the for the uh, IC or the TH21A, that was a Kenwood handheld. So it's like just paperwork. Various little pieces of paper. 
ICOM IC-H1601. Oh, look at that. There is an 0480 in there. Well, that is, uh, that's always a good find. I used to have one of these a long time ago, and this is in really good condition. Um, that's wonderful. I uh, actually used to have the series of the 02, 03, 04, and the 12AT back years and years ago. And uh, still an amazing radio. Still will do some incredible things. This one's in immaculate condition. So it looks like uh, we've got a couple of antennas in here. 70 centimeter antennas. Looks like an AC adapter. Have to figure out what all is included in there. Isn't it fun just looking through treasures you get and you don't know what's there? Let's see here. What do we have next? That looks like it's just a, a Kenwood AC adapter, a wall wart. So I'm not sure what that goes to. Oh, well, so what do we have here? It looks like it might be maybe a, uh, a battery charger. That's hard to tell from here. I'll have to do some research on that as well. Uh, oh, my goodness, Radio Shack. 500 milliamp power adapter, standard 12 volt. That looks like that's... Look like that's even been used. Still in the box, and yeah, I'll have to take that out and take a look at it and see what. Uh, it doesn't even look like it's. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's been used, but ah, very cool. Ah, it's still in its wrapper, and that's old. You can definitely tell that uh, it's been around a while. I am told that this was from the estate of a silent key, so uh, condolences to the family for that. It's never fun having to do to give out to give away this stuff from a from an estate sale. So another another little adapter, an ICOM tone squelch unit, the UT thirty seven. Um, is it in there? Nope, it's not in there. So, oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, it's the tone squelch unit. So. I would assume that that's going to go into, uh, maybe that'll go into the O2 series? It's hard to say. Oh, looks like the Micro AT booklet for the one we found before. BC50 charger. Okay, now we're getting into stuff I remember. Um, CM7, that's the battery pack for the O2 series, O3 series. Well, there we go. There's another. Let's see, it doesn't... Oh, it's an H16. ICOM H16. I can't remember if that is an aeronautical. I believe that might be either aeronautical or business radio. I'll have to, I'll have to take a look and see. Oh, it's like another charger. Yeah, it's another charger. This would be the battery charger, the, the BC50. That would be the, the booklet for that. Boy, that's getting old too. Yeah, that's for the micro series. So, bring that back up. And next, down to the bottom of the bag here. Oh, looks like we. <laughs> wow, a PH twenty one AT. I remember that radio. That is. Uh, that's nice. It's uh, it's in really good condition too. That's the old thumb wheel style. So, no digitals there, and definitely one of the old ICOM BP. I don't know if this is a... I don't know which one that is. I'll have to look that up. That goes for the O2 series as well. Oh, another microphone. That's good. It's an MH57. Always love the microphone, uh, the handsets. So those are great. And mics. And a box for the BC-74. Yeah, looks like we have a charger. That's cool. Another little set of well, let's put some set of gaskets. That looks like that might. I can't tell if that's for the uh, O2 series. It might be for here. Well, there we go. I remember that. That is uh, an ICOM HS10SB. That's the the switching box for the, for a headset. And I used to have one of those years ago when I had all of my ICOM gear. Oh, here we go. To the end of the bag here. We're getting into some battery packs. CM8. 
looks like a CM8G. And let's see, another battery. Oh, here we go. It is an IC uh, 2 SAT. It's just a 2 meter handheld. Yeah, I remember this too. Oops, sorry about the shake there. So, another small little 2 meter transceiver from the, I believe that was from the 80s. And the final few things in the bag. So, we have a bag, a couple of little lanyards, another antenna. And a Yesu FTH 700B, which I have no clue what that is. I'm going to have to do some research on, on some of these radios. I used to know a lot of these radios, but some of them I don't. They're old. So, not too bad. Not too bad of a haul. Both of those bags cost me $50. So I think, uh, I think it's safe to say that I made my money back. What do you think? Thank you for, uh, for watching me unbag all these goodies. I'm going to do some cleaning up of these uh, radios and see what I can do with them. Um, some of them are definitely definitely past their wear date and past their, uh, <laughs> their sell-by date. But there's some good stuff in here. I know a couple of pieces are going to go to, uh, are going to, go to you, Todd. Maybe you can use them with your, uh, your O-series for MyCom. But uh, we'll see if we can get the others to work. And just the speaker mics themselves, the two or three of those, and some of the others are definitely worth what I paid. So... That is it. Uh, the CPAC 2022 Hamfest was an absolute delight. Um, I walked it quite a few times over the span of about four hours. I think the most fun not only was purchasing stuff like this, but having a chance to, to eyeball and shake hands with some of the friends uh, from the ham bands that I had a chance to see that I hadn't met before. Uh, shout out to Larry from Ham Radio Live uh, on YouTube. He, uh, he was there as well. It's good to see you there in person and meet you. Uh, good to see Todd and Dylan and some of the other folks I got a chance to see. So, looking forward to next year. This year was definitely a success. A lot of fun. And um, looking forward to it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And definitely leave some comments below. And uh, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos. Hit that notification bell too. Thank you so much for watching. This is Seamus and 7MYW saying 73.